Okay, here's hopefully a better video of the uh, PhD graph with uh, PhD guiding a Ioptron's EQ25 GT mount. I'm using the T3i instead of the uh, iPhone this evening because the iPhone didn't quite cut it quality wise. But this is real time. It's, uh, let's see, it's almost 2 a.m. in the morning, currently imaging. Uh, the Crescent Nebula. I've already imaged two or three other uh, objects with the uh, ZEQ25 mount. It's really easy to image with this mount and really easy to uh, obtain quality autoguided images with PhD on the mount uh, in conjunction with an autoguider. That's the graph. Uh, that's how it typically runs. It's, it's just flat as a pancake and uh, just unbelievable every time that I run it. I, I just can't believe that it runs like this. So if you're contemplating purchasing a mount for astrophotography that's light, easy to transport, and tracks like crazy, this is the one to get. So as you can see, very few guiding corrections going on. The, one, the corrections that are going on are, are less than two-tenths of a pixel. So that one was just uh, 0.13 pixels in one direction. Most of the corrections are in deck. Uh, the RA is, it's just basically flat. Those settings that I have in the PhD graph are, are what's working for the mount this evening. Depending upon what portion of the sky you're imaging, you have to play with the settings to get the graph that particularly flat. Uh, but even when it's not, it still takes perfect images and auto guides like a dream. So that's it. Uh, hopefully the quality of this video is a little bit better than the last one I posted. And you can actually see what's going on on the screen. Uh, <laughs> that's all for this evening. Let me get back to work. Thanks. Bye-bye.